Hello, today is uh, Sunday. It is the 18th day of August 2013. Welcome to today's video. My name is Derek and uh, we're looking at the weekly chart for silver. Big green candle up 13.15% for the week and well that was not good enough to make the top 10 for best weeks of silver since it started trading back in 1968 for the best weeks are as follows. The best week ever, 53.28% week ending September 18th, 1979. And to make the top 10, it's got to get better than 17.72%. And it also means the last time it has had a week to make the top 10 would have been February the 6th, 1998. So it has been more than 15 years to have uh, a significant weekly gain to uh, ensure making this list. What we'll do today is play around with some historical data and uh, within the spreadsheet just for really something to do. Okay. In the Dropbox link, I got a whole bunch of uh, different files. Here's the uh, data file for the gold, silver, and the ratio since uh, 1968. This is updated currently right now, so we're going to bring this document up. It's a very big document because it's got every single day. The LBMA has been counting data since the start, which of course, as you can see here, starts January the 2nd, 1968, updated all the way to August the 16th, 2013. So what we'll do is we will select this information, open up a spreadsheet, and paste the information in. So that is done. And we're pretty much ready to go. So let's see what some of the stuff we could do. Well, it's had good gains for several days. We can see here the price was up here to 22.83. Of course, it's up from that point now over 23. It was higher here. The last uh, down day would have been August the 7th. So what we're going to do is uh, calculate, uh, for now, uh, winning streaks. So do, to do this, we're going to ask a question equals if. If this number, which is the price of silver, is greater than the previous day, it's an up day. So we'll give it a 1 if it's an up day and a 0 if it's a down day. Okay, so we'll, what we'll do is we'll put in this column here. Consecutive updates in a row. So we're going to ask, is this number equal to 0 or 1? And if it is, I want to add this number plus 1. If not 0, we'll stick a 1 on there. And what we'll see when we copy and paste, there'll be a 2 here. There'll be a 2 here. There we go. So what we'll do is we'll paste this all the way down to the very bottom of the cell. 11,551 rows. So what I'll do in here is I'll just write in the numbers and paste it along. Okay, we'll have to do a little bit of a change because it did say, or this will work. So there we have it. So we can uh, now determine some of the greatest streaks ever. Now what I want to do is write a little log list of when the streak comes to an end, well then what is the streak? So what we're going to do it here is, let's say, write, write, write it here, equals if this number is less than the previous one, well, that's a total indication that the streak has came to an end, then we're going to give it the a date, which would be the previous day. If it doesn't got it, then we'll put nothing. And then we'll do the same thing again. If this number is less than here, 
We'll put in the, it's what the streak was, and then if not, nothing. So what this should do now is I copy and paste is only put the information when the streak comes to a conclusion. So what we'll do again, we'll paste this all the way down. And there we have it. So what we'll do, I'm going to take all these, uh, all this data, copy it, and I'm going to uh, put it into a notepad document. Paste it all in here. And put her back. We'll get some of the, what, we'll do, what we're doing here is finding the best winning streaks. That's pretty much all we're doing. And I'm going to sort it. I'm going to sort it by column B descending, which will show the highest to the lowest. So we're going to find out now what the most consecutive updates using LBMA data happens to be. And the answer is 11. The answer is 11. April the 12th, 2010 was when it had a 11 game or 11 game. That's sports, but I pretty much look at it like sports. An 11-day winning streak. 1989, it had a 10-day winning streak. On uh, January 23th uh, of this year, it had a 10-game winning streak. So those are some of those, the streaks there. Now let's do go even further now. And let's take a look at how well it does uh, as far as consecutive days in a row. So now what we see, of course, in here is that it's had... A pretty high gain over since this bottom here. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what I want to calculate now is what is the most it has gained over a seven period session? Seven periods. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What we do is we take the price of silver from here, subtract it from here, and then divide it by the low again. Very simple. We'll put the date right in here. I will copy and paste this all the way down to the very bottom, which again is 11541. Same thing as we did last time. I'm going to copy this, put it into a notepad document. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because this way, if I paste this onto a new spreadsheet, it's just going to look terrible. For example, if I go like this and I paste, look at that, error 522 in reference. So it just doesn't work. However, by taking this information, it's, all, it's bringing the data so I can copy and paste it, and now it's going to work. And there we have it. So what we're going to do is sort it again. And we're going to sort it by column A in a uh, descending format from highest to lowest. This is a little bug that uh, this top one here. This is because it's pretty much zero when I see this. I, I can change the numbers to fix it by taking this in here. We'll do it just to show you. So we'll format the cells. And then we'll put in, say, something like eight decibels. And that would change it. Because when you see those numbers, it's one of those ones where it's like 0.0004% or something like that. Very minuscule number. So that will fix the uh, problem, which really wasn't even that much of a problem anyway. So when I resort this, you're going to see that 70% over that period of time is the highest, January 2, 1980. And we'll sort it again. We'll sort it by column B, descending. 
Actually, we're probably what? Call it A. And we'll just change it to put it in percentage mode so it's easier to read. So 70% is the best seven day gain period going back to January 2nd, 1980. The, the gain that we had over seven days was 15.7% which would take us all the way down to 96th place. This is the 96th best seven-day period it has ever had. Now, as far as since, say, now let's just do since the bull market has begun. That's the final thing we're going to do. We can see in here that the top days are all from the 1980s run. 87, of course, had an interesting run as well. But uh, this decade, the best one, just by looking at this, was September 2008, which is what should come up. So again, we're only going to take uh, from the bull market. So here is fine. And we'll take this information again, paste it here, say. And sort it. So the best uh, period since, uh, well, the bull market began. September of 2008, we can see the top four were all during this time frame. So even at September 22nd, it was doing well. September 23rd, 4th, 5th, with 20% uh, gains over that period of time frame. But uh, I, this is the fourth best run during the bull market. For September of 08 was the best. Then April of 2006 was the second best. Then May of 2009, the third best, and this run right now is the fourth best run over seven days since, uh, well, 2000, we'll say. Now, as far as the worst runs now, let's just uh, show that now. Just for something to do, I guess. This time, we'll uh, put it in ascending order. So the worst run was 45% down in seven days. And recently, of course, September 26, 2011, it had its big run down as well. So just something to uh, show here. And uh, that'll be it for today. And thank you for uh, tuning into uh, today's video. Take care.